strut out completely but what's so awesome because I got the inserts is no one mentioned how tough this ring would be to get out so I gotta head up to Walmart try to get one of those like pipe grips turn it but yeah yeah nice little compression string right there look at that oh I'm gonna clean that girl up she's gonna look good maybe I should cut her yeah. This is funny. So if anybody wants to know the difference between the old shock, look, it's barely coming out. It's not, it's not performing. Now, let's take a look at a brand new shock. Look, see how it's moving? These are obviously better. Put that back. Thank you much. Thank you much. Move on. Be back. Bumper stops. I should order some new ones of these. You know, I'm gonna paint this while I got this out. I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. Like the crazy part of all of this is that I actually was trying to get them to do the suspension or the struts at uh, Midas. But it said that I got the wrong strut. It wanted me to order the whole strut assembly. Interesting. And being exactly the same strut. Mm. 
Delicious. Delicious. D delicious. So let me take you through this math real quick. So they wanted me to order other struts. The struts were $230 a piece. That's $460. Plus they were going to charge me $300 in labor. So that's $760. Now the struts that I bought, the inserts were $62 a piece, which meant that's a, what, $124. So Instead of me finding and buying these struts they wanted to and paying for their labor, I decided instead to keep the $124 struts that I bought. Also, uh, basically uh, uh, buy new tools, $178 for new tools. I'm about $300 invested. So for $300 investment, I turned around and I'm going to install these new struts and still have tools that I can use for other projects later. You have to sit down and learn. When you learn, you save money, you progress in life. You got to do it.